We just finished developing one of our newest apps called Condos Widget. With this app, you can create a widget like this for you to show condo buildings. So in this example, it's showing Aqua Gold Front Condo Search and Dunes of Panama Condos. So in this table, you can show the price interval of the units, the average price of the condos, how many floors the building has, the number of units, the year the building or the area was built, and the address of the building or the condo area. It will also show the number of properties for sale and the rank that you give to that building. Um, so with the free version, you have three um, rows that you can create. Right now we're using a premium version. You can create 30 rows, but this has a price of $29 a month. And if you want 100 rows, that would be $79 a month. So that would be 100 um, buildings. So I'm going to create one of these, for example, with just two rows for you to see using one of our clients. So we have this client here that has this saved links showcase that they created. These are all saved link from condos. If you wanna create a new saved link, you would go to design website and saved links. You will want to create a link for the condo building and all of these buildings have a specific address. So you should create a saved link from an address page and select your criteria here. So you can just choose the city um, the types of homes that you want the save link to show and the address. So this will be the address of the condo building. And then you would just click on next step, add in all of the rest of the details, the name of the save link, description, subheaders, and if you want to add an agent to it. In this case, we already have some save links that this client created. So we're going to use one of these as an example. When you want to create a new row, you would click on here, create new condo widget, and you will give it a name. In this case, let's create one for this safe link. Calypso Resort and Towers, one bedroom condos. So let me name it Calypso Tower one. And let's choose that safe link here. Let's give it a rank. This is something that you decide on your own. So I could say I want to rank this building with an 8.5 out of 10. And then you would add in here the URL of the safe link because this is where it would take you. So this is a safe link. Let's just copy the safe link and add it in here. So when somebody clicks on it, it will take you to the safe link of the building. Then you would add in the year where this apartment complex was built. It looks like it was built in 2006. So let's add that as a year. I'm not really sure, so don't take my word on it, but it's just an example. For number of units, we can see here that there are nine listings on the save link. So let's say that there are nine. I'm not sure how many floors the apartment building has, but you will know that information. Let's say there are 20, just to create an example. And let's click on create. So this will create a saved link for the first widget. Then we can create another one to go below that. Let's create one for this same one. So it will be Calypso Tower 2. And let's choose that save link. Let's give this a 9 out of 10. I'm not sure what this tower is rated at. And let's add in the URL of the save link. Don't take my ranks um, as something real. I'm just making this up. I'm not really sure what the rank is. Just a quick disclaimer. Let's say it was built on 2006 as well. This one also has nine listings, so let's keep nine and let's say it has the same number of floors and click on create. So right now you have two widgets and you might be wondering which code should I copy because it gives you two codes here. So what you should do is the following. Let me showcase this on JS Fiddle. 
I would recommend adding in tower number one, which is the first row, and copy the code with assets. I'm going to paste it here just for you to see. As you can see, this is the CSS portion, this is the header portion, this is the save links portion, and the JavaScript portion. Everything is already there. All you have to do is get the second one and just copy the code without the assets and paste it here on the save link section. If you run it, you will see that it will have the two widgets that we just created, Calypso Resort in Towers 1, Bedroom Condos, and Towers number 2. Some of the data is imported automatically. For example, the price range, it is coming from the save link. Um, the average price is also coming from the save link. This is what we added in, also this and this. And the address is also coming from the save link. These are the number of properties for sale and the rank that I gave this building. You can just change it to whatever you want. It's worth noting that this is the address of this condo. So for example, if you were to read a safe link from scratch and you want to include Calypso Resort and Towers, this is the address that you would add in over here when creating your safe link. And this is an example of a safe link. You can also click on the name of the condo building and the for sale properties, and it will take you to the URL that you added when you built out this widget. Um, for this client specifically, I just noticed that they don't have HTTPS um, and the web page I'm using, JS Fiddle, blocks these redirects if they don't have HTTPS. But if you have HTTPS, it should work perfectly for you. For example, I have another widget here. It's just one row and it's for Allure Las Vegas condos for sale. Let's click on it and it takes us to the save link. Um, that we added in in the URL portion. So over here. So it will show you the properties on that URL. In this case, Allure Las Vegas Condos for Sale. Um, the redirect will work if you click on the name of any of these condos, but also if you click on any of these on the widget. These is also made of data. I'm not really sure if it's correct or not. It's just for the sake of showing you the widget. So if you have a website that sells condos, make sure to check out this app. It's called the Condos Widget. It's the third one on the left. It is very useful for your clients to see all of your condos in the same place and compare one to the other very fast.